Welcome back. This is Y254 Business Tuesday. And if you're just joining us, our discussion today is about, uh, is looking to, uh, is lo uh, our discussion today is looking at the reasons why we have so many millennials today quitting well paying jobs. And also remember, you can follow this conversation on our social media pages at Ngina underscore Lizzie and at Y254 channel. So, Socrates, how are you? Welcome. Thank you so much. How are you? I am fine. Uh -huh. And so, first of all, let me ask. Yes. Uh, in your profession, are you in the job that you school for? No. Okay. And yes. uh, is this part of um, is this part of the well? Are you in a, in, a, in a field that you chose for yourself, like after school, and then you decide, now let me leave what I studied for and follow what I want, or how was it for you? <coughs> Thank you so much for the question, Gina. Yes. I'm happy to be here. I'm a trained journalist, broadcast okay. journalist from yeah. university. Mm -hmm. uh, I was passionate about journalism many years ago. I love the profession and its consumables. But uh, going into the university, I loved, uh, I shifted my focus from journalism okay. that I was called to pursue. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> I wanted something that will amalgamate communication and business. Okay. So that I would make money by holding candid conversations. Mm -hmm. So, well, platforms are many. We yeah. have PR practice mm -hmm. and uh, other uh, platforms. So I took PR as my personal path. Okay. Though I'm a trained journalist. Yeah. And uh, so far, I must say it's been fulfilling. Okay. Yes. So well, that was just a by the way question, you yeah. know, to to also know if you're part of the demographic that quit their jobs, but uh, yeah. yours was simply a shift. Yes. So now millennials. Um, first of all, can we uh, let's look at how different are they from the the previous generation or from the other generation? How different <laughs> are they? Well, I've had, uh, I've held candid conversations about uh, millennials okay. and why I consider them a very special generation. They're the sort of generation that is hanging between a, tradi uh, a traditional setup mm -hmm. and uh, a digital future. They're hanging between the balance. Mm -hmm. And therefore, somebody once tweeted that uh, <coughs> the millennials will not know deep tradition, ne neither will they borrow into a future that is uh, uh, what they call it in, uh, an artificially intelligent future. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's a very uh, it's a very special generation. Uh -huh. Well, it's a, it's a different one because uh, of the digital landscape that has intruded into our lives. Uh -huh. uh, millennials are looking to find freedom in their own thoughts. Yeah. They are trying to free themselves from traditional jobs where you are. Tested if you can do something, you're mm -hmm. employed and paid after every four weeks, you're yeah. monitored, there's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, stringent measures at workplaces. They don't like that. Mm -hmm. They love freedom, the, the freedom of thought. Yeah. They want to make money using the digital landscape, and that makes them unique. Mm -hmm. And therefore, yes, it's a very different generation. You see, Back in the day, our dads, moms, and grandparents were using the traditional ways of doing their jobs. Yeah. After schooling, they would go get employed, retire at a certain age, yeah. and then blah, blah, blah. I mean, it was very, very predictable. Well, so also yeah. uh, on that, why do you think many of them, I mean, we have such high numbers quitting their jobs? Oh, well, <coughs> the digital, the present digital landscape yeah. has come with a lot of promise of freedom. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's, it, it narrows down to freedom. Millennials want to do their own things mm -hmm. at their own time. Yeah. And with that, they still want to make huge profits. Yeah. OK? So I think the huge chunk that are shifting from the traditional job criteria are simply looking for this freedom. Mm -hmm. And they're also looking at their icons who have done it both domestically and foreign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I still have a concern. Yeah. You know, well, I understand that we are, the way you've explained it, in mm. the middle of, uh, I'm a, we are the amateurs, I'm a, we, we are the beginners of digitization. Yes. So my question is, mm -hmm. uh, as we quit these jobs, are we going to a brighter future or what exactly yeah do, do we look forward to a brighter future and what impact does it have on on the workforce because 
I, I, I would imagine someone who would uh, want to take the risk to quit their job, they are leaving a space somewhere in the workforce that mm -hmm. needs to be filled. So how is that impacting on us today and in future? Because you see, it's high numbers, mm -hmm. and I believe they are taking the best of the best in mm -hmm. our in our workforce. Yeah. Will it have any impact on our economy? Yes, I mean, <coughs> my opinion is that we are carelessly leaving the job uh, market yeah. to do our own things mm -hmm. without guided strategy. Yeah. You'd get uh, somebody leaving, uh, let's say, civil service. Mm -hmm. They get some, let's say, a million bob. And now they imagine that a certain person in South Africa yeah. used a million bob to create an empire of billion dollars. Mm -hmm. And now they run their own empires. And now they exit this well-paying job to get into something that they would consider uniquely oh, their own. So you can also agree most of these people quitting uh, have not properly calculated their steps yes. they are not it's not a calculated risk they yes. just do it they're just doing it because of pressure mm -hmm. social media let me tell you i mean it's all over the place people are not posting their failures yeah yeah, people, yeah. yeah, yeah. People are not <laughs> we, we are all out there yeah. uh, posting what we did and the moves we, we were about to make yeah yeah so these guys are saying that they they jumped into this river bought their feet and they're ripping millions and therefore you are you are motivated to do it we yeah. have organizations that I would not wish to mention, uh -huh. but every day they keep on telling us about digital marketing and they're promising you millions, uh -huh. flight trips around the uh -huh. world, and the pressure is too much. Yeah, okay. and, and, and I feel like with that mm. kind of incitement, it can, mm. it can also mislead very many yeah. uh, young people in the, in the workforce. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the, demo, uh, the, the group that... Uh, uh, quits their job and go into sole proprietorship now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's talk about that. Well, this group, I, earlier I had, a, I had a conversation in this same business Tuesday yeah. on how these sort of people, they after getting into their own sole proprietorship ventures, mm -hmm. they lack the money to sustain their businesses. Okay. And they start regretting how they would wish they had stayed in their well-paying yeah, jobs. Uh -huh. Because the banks promised them money, government agencies promised them loans, but the bureaucracies involved in getting these monies are so detailed, uh, a patient person would not go through. Okay. And so Kenya is affected, mm -hmm. uh, Sana, because of the pressures that come with people. Mm -hmm. The one percent that managed, mm -hmm. okay, is negatively affecting the remaining ninety-nine mm -hmm. percent mm -hmm. of these people who are trying to get in. Yeah. So my insight is that that is going on. Mm -hmm. Sadly, it is not uh, well thought. There is no clear thought process. Mm -hmm. And I really think you guys in active media should really add more thoughts into discouraging these. Mm -hmm. But if it's to be encouraged, mm -hmm. let there be a, a very comprehensive thought process so that when you leave, let's say, civil service and get into business, there'll be no much hitches. Yeah, and I also think uh, an education is lacking on finances mm. and on uh, placements in, in the jobs. Yeah. So. Is it, are there just specific uh, occupations that people are leaving or it's the entire workforce, like I'm talking of doctors or mm -hmm. teachers, uh, uh, is it the whole workforce or there is a specific group that uh, suffers this more? Well, there's a specific. Mm -hmm. You would not tell me you, you'd want to drop being a surgeon yeah. and become a business person. That's no. very true. Yeah. People are leaving uh, middle cadre mm -hmm. employment ventures, you know, the the, the, the eight to five mm -hmm. uh, uh, desktop uh, sort of employment whereby yeah. you are you, all you do around, let's say you studied some interesting course at the varsity, mm -hmm. but all you do in somebody's office is to arrange files, you know, make online, you know, have online trajectories that's yeah, going online, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. sales. People are, people are, people, people do no longer want to work for others. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they also want to escape from these eight to five schedules and get freedom in their own things. So, uh -huh. yes, there's a specific, uh, working frame that is really affected mm -hmm. but other people are, they seem to be enjoying what they do yeah their, their. so i also see a lot of people in the workforce you know uh you see uh, especially well the young people uh you'll see that they do not agree well with 
the rules of the company or the traditional rules. Uh, you, you'll find, uh, I have a few, I know a few of a few people who have gone through with quitting their jobs. And when I probed further, I realized it's the policies that they have in the workplace. Like, uh, they just don't apply to us. They just don't apply to the millennial generation. Are there other things that, other than work policies that motivate these people to, you know, quit the job? Oh, yeah. It, it goes it goes back to my earlier insight mm -hmm. where you find that these people apart from the policies yes they they also want to it's the it's it's natural for people to be want to want to be in control yeah they also want to manage other people mm -hmm. they also want to control income yeah they also want to have a name mm -hmm. that is can be celebrated in the society. Yeah. So apart from uh, the policies of their workplaces, there's that kind of drive mm -hmm. that really pushes you to be independent and free. Yeah. And I think that is even more as a more spirited trigger to really want to, to venture into your own personal proprietorship mm -hmm. other than uh, work policies that are set yeah yeah so now uh, I've looked at I've taken time to look at companies like empowered companies and Andela was one of them it was used as a case study mm -hmm. for uh, a millennial survey that was going on a while back so I find that in such a company really will they lose uh, their employees mm -hmm. so I, I tend to think there are things there are measures that they do to incorporate the Millennials so my question is are there cultures yeah. that are millennial friendly yes you know these are uh, there's something called business leadership mm -hmm. I've tried to incorporate it in what I do myself okay whereby well, which is uh, business leadership or my uh, well you can state that as well yeah whereby you 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 don't tell uh, an employee of yours yeah go mm -hmm. you tell them let's go okay okay and therefore mm -hmm. uh, bosses business leaders CEOs mm -hmm. uh, project administrators are looking at uh, hindering them from leaving companies by being part of their lives mm -hmm. okay by, by by showing them how to do it yeah. and not telling them to do it mm -hmm. okay yeah by 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 holding conversations that are you know when when from monday to monday it's all about work yeah. and you know the bossy relationship it's bad mm -hmm. so bosses and ceos are uh, bringing in disruptive uh, disruptive activities like team building sessions mm -hmm. You know, these leaves that they send you somewhere to go really look into your own personal life yeah. in a bit that you will use their company to introduce you to yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, well, there are cultures that are millennial friendly. The research is going on because yeah. it's a new thing. People really, people are tired of losing brains. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And then the f my final insight to probably CEOs or recruiters who are watching mm -hmm. is that uh, higher character then train the skill later. Yeah. The character will sustain. Mm -hmm. Okay? Will sustain the business. Yeah, and yeah. also for the for those in the workforce. I think for no we're just looking at the millennials. More training should go in the CEOs and the employers. That, that that's that's uh, yeah. I also think it's that it, it will be very important. So what impact does this quitting have on mental health? Well, I'll, I'll use myself as a case study. Yes. It was not a seamless transition. Yeah. Oh, you were once Yes, I, I, when I was leaving the university, yeah. I wanted to get into a media house, grab a microphone, get to the field and, you know, report these yeah. things. Mm -hmm. And I dived in. Then, wow, these guys called directors and producers, you know, and yeah, the things they do in those media houses. Yes. I, I didn't really... I didn't, there was no spark, there yeah. was no motivation. Mm -hmm. So I called it quit. Yeah. I left my job and then I was like, okay, now I've left that job. What am I going to do mm -hmm. myself? I was broke for a very long time. I couldn't call home for probably either support. emotional mm -hmm. or financial support yeah. because they'll be like, wow. I mean, four years in the, into the university, uh -huh. and, and here still you are. Yeah. So myself, I'm a victim. Yeah. It really affects if you don't have a forethought of it, if you don't have a strategy yeah. of it, mm -hmm. stay where you are. But even in the staying, mm -hmm. have it in mind that one day I want to be a free, independent person. Yeah. 
but mm -hmm. work and train your uh, your mind yes. into seamlessly yeah. getting into what you want uh, so socrates for as as we as we close tell uh what advice would you give to the rising demographic of people who are quitting their jobs as as the the last statement you'll say before we yeah. wind up yeah I mean, I would like to tell these people to hold on. Just hold on. Yes. Uh, don't, don't, don't go with the fuss. I mean, the fuss is so, is so confusing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Redefine re, re your purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, business looks good when you're making money, but it would send you to suicide yeah. when you're working on a negative. So harbor the ambitions of business, uh, freedom. Harbor them. You're allowed yes. to harbor them. Yeah. But train yourself. Dive into research. Mm -hmm delve into things that a company doing sole proprietorship yes okay yeah and then now when you're getting into it make sure you have money not to start the business mm -hmm. no money to sustain that business yeah as you look forward to making huge profit margins yes yeah so hold on don't be on a rush mm -hmm. Talk to people who have done it. Talk to people who have failed, mm -hmm. not those who have made it. Yeah. Yeah. Share in their past frustrations. Yes. Trust me, you, your transition will be seamless. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure there's a lot we could say on this topic, but yeah. unfortunately, time is not on our side. So thank you so much for joining us and staying with us throughout the discussion. In case you missed anything or you would want to revisit this discussion, you can find the, you can find it in our social media page that is on YouTube at Y254 channel. We will have the whole discussion there. So until uh, that's all uh, until next Wednesday. Uh, not until next Tuesday. Bye bye and keep it right 254 for more amazing programs and youthful vibes. Bye.